what this project has been a demonstration of is an incredible opportunity for Kirkland, you know, now and into the future, to continue um, sort of being able to support the tenets of growth management by building projects like this along major thoroughfares so that we protect our neighborhoods. And, and you know, that has been a, a basic tenet of what we do in Kirkland forever. By, by being able to maintain neighborhoods in, the, in the, their current configurations um, allows us to have villages like this one that not only protect the other neighborhoods but become a neighborhood themselves. People, activity, uh, livelihoods, um, it's, it's alive, um, it's exciting, and it's not going to go back. The integration of housing over commercial. Uh, it's proving itself here. It's proving itself in Redmond. It's what people want. People like being able to walk to the store, being able to walk to services. As we build these 10-minute neighborhoods, people are using them. The younger generation that's coming up now has way different expectations. As you get up here and, and you feel a vibe. Yeah. There, the, the park is one of the funnest parks in Kirkland already. Yeah. This is beyond what the vision was, but so are so many of the things that are happening in Kirkland. We revisited the development agreement and really didn't, didn't hesitate to honor the commitments that we made with the development agreement, recognizing that we were going to have to put a whole lot of dollars into both infrastructure and just the whole maintenance of the flood district, all of the work that we did along the freeway. Right. Um, so we've just been investing on an ongoing basis and we continue to keep winning because of it. We had quarterly lunches at Cafe Veloce. Right here. Right here. Okay. Uh, where we invited as many people as would come to join us for these Tuesday lunches. I think they were Tuesdays. Don't, I don't know. Sure. Um, and most of the council would come and we would simply talk to the business owners and, and listen to their concerns and tell them where we were going. We would do periodic updates from the planning department, from public works. Um, it was such an open collaborative process because people wanted something to happen. So combining this work with the, the Cross Kirkland Corridor became this natural symbiosis in terms of creating something at the end of the Cross Kirkland Trail, or as now is in the middle mm -hmm. of the Cross Kirkland Corridor. The connections are, are endless, so people can get here, they can commute back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this, why wouldn't you want to live next to this park? Um, being a bike rider is going to be really something here pretty soon <laughs> as far as all, the, all of this project is concerned. You know, the fireplaces draw. I've been to the restaurants, a number of them. They are busy. Um, they are, I, I just think we have embraced this as a, a, a very special part of our community.